Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we will be working in this sketchbook, um, which technically is a notebook, like I've mentioned in I think the last two videos that I've shown this particular notebook. Um, the design is done by me, and I have good news. The shipment for my notebooks plus a few new designs will be here very soon not too soon so i might have to push the store update till next year but yeah if you guys missed out on the first batch then definitely check out um any of my social media platforms which hopefully i will be letting you guys know when those are available again um let's talk about the illustration sorry if this kind of breaks like the immersion of the video but i drew this and colored it on the 10th of November. I know it's like the 23rd, no, 22nd when you guys are seeing this, the 22nd, um, which is Monday. And I'm literally doing the voiceover like the night before. Uh, so I actually haven't seen the footage in a while, but I decided to try something a little bit different. So usually when I've used alcohol markers recently, I've used them with kind of like any kind of like multi-liner or like um, just kind of like any kind of technical drawing pen or marker and for the most part i've had an okay time using them they didn't smudge too much but recently i've been using them and they've been smudging a lot more especially when i'm using like a lot of lighter colors and it doesn't work great if you are working with like whites or maybe a lighter skin tone or if you're trying to keep something very clean and clear um yeah it, if things are bleeding it's gonna be very noticeable especially like around the face area like even if the skin isn't pale any kind of like smudge marks coming from like black ink is gonna be quite visible so i decided to try something new and do the line art or the sketch in like pencil crayon so in the beginning i showed you guys that these are actually the Prismacolor Scholar set and these are the ones that I've used back when I was in high school I believe and these are a bit of the more affordable pencil crayons from the Prismacolor line I believe and they kind of have a harder lead compared to or like the core is the core is less soft compared to the premiers the premiers are a little bit more like buttery and smooth this one's a little bit more brittle and a little bit harder which is great if you're doing line work so you don't have to sharpen as much you can get a little bit more thinner and cleaner lines and that's what i kind of wanted i know pencil crayon wouldn't exactly bleed and because the marker doesn't really interact with the pigments it doesn't really smudge which is great um did I talk about who I'm drawing today? If you couldn't tell, I'm drawing Diona from Genshin Impact. She's just a really cute character, and I don't think I've really drawn her all that much. Um, I think I have a few sketches. I think one in my sketchbook and one unfinished little painting thing I've done on the iPad. But I wanted to draw her today because looking at the marker selection, I wanted to paint- or not paint, I wanted to color actually Kokomi. But I don't think I have the correct blue, so I decided to switch over and draw the next pink haired little lady, um, Diona. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I just really wanted to draw someone with pink hair. I usually don't do too many characters who have like very colorful hair with traditional medium. So it was kind of like a good opportunity. And I kind of wanted to try out markers in the sketchbook. You can see that there is kind of like a indication of a Copic, not Copic, marker piece on the left side of the sketchbook along with some kind of like thumbnails as well and yeah i did a test before i decided to work on the diona piece and the markers actually work super great in the sketchbook i don't know why if it's because the paper is so smooth and thin but yeah it was easy for me to blend the colors for the most part um oops uh, this might come off a little bit confusing. So sometimes when I'm laying down color, so you would have seen, like, isn't right what I'm doing right now? Wow, my brain's like shutting off as I'm doing this voiceover. But um, sometimes there's like little dark patches you can see from where I'm coloring, and it's not from any smudging. It's not from the marker itself. My paper is so thin that when it comes in contact with like alcohol markers or any kind of like 
it's basically, I think it's just the alcohol. It kind of gives it a translucent look and I have a little backing sheet of, um, I think it's like the marker paper from Artex. So it has kind of like that film on the back of it. So I kind of use it as like a scratch pad and stuff and preventing any little bleed through from any other paper as well. So I can kind of protect the next piece of paper behind it. And I, because I use it as a scratch pad, there's a lot of like darker lines and stuff that kind of show through when the alcohol kind of makes the paper transparent or translucent when the paper is kind of like saturated and wet for a little bit. And then once it dries, it remains kind of like opaque, which is great because I got a little bit concerned when I was coloring in Diona's face and her hair that I could see these little like dark splotches but those are dark splotches from the backing sheet paper that I used to protect the next sheet over so yeah but I think the pink hair turned out super cute I actually really liked it I did struggle a little bit with her outfit because I didn't have the correct um kind of like muted navy blue color that she has for her like her hat and kind of like her shorts and a bit of like her collar and stuff but also the orange that i had was a little bit too saturated and i'm i feel like i'm a noob when it comes to like using markers i'm scared to layer up uh different colors together because i've seen some that if you layer lighter color over a darker color you kind of get this weird like blooming I don't know if it's blooming, but you kind of get this weird effect. So it's good to layer darker over light, but I, I don't know. I think I need to fiddle around with layering a little bit more because it was easy for me to layer colors in her hair. I was layering a light blue into her hair and it kind of gave a nice kind of like purple tone to kind of push back those shadows in her hair. And I was just struggling. I was struggling a lot with picking colors, I guess. I didn't know if I wanted more pink tones or blue tones. So I kept layering colors on top of each other to see what I could use. Um, but also because of how unfamiliar I was, I was always checking the color sheet. But when I'm checking the color sheet, I'm also like pulling as many markers as I can out so I can have them all out when I need to use them. I'm just, I need more experience using these markers, but I don't want to deplete the markers too much. I want to be able to savor my time using them because I, I'm actually not sure if these are refillable. If they are, then I'll look into it. But for now, since I don't really want to invest into markers quite yet, because um, for me, markers at this point, because I don't do a lot of finished work with them, I feel like they just are a super expensive hobby, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, if I buy new watercolors, I kind of can justify it because like sometimes I do like larger watercolor pieces. I also do like watercolor commissions before and stuff or like I do stuff for products and it makes sense. But when I do stuff for markers, it's just purely for fun and some markers can get pricey. These ones are much more affordable. So maybe, maybe I'll look into it. I'll, I'll see. I'm, I'm very, I'm basically like verbally vomiting on my thoughts right now. It's like almost 1 a.m. I'm running on like three and a half hours of sleep because, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that the 17 concert was like two days ago, I guess, by the time this video came out. And it was from like 1 a.m. to like 4 a.m. And I fell asleep at like 4.30 and I had to get up at 8 because I had to run some errands with my dad and my brother. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel hyperactive and scatterbrained right now. But also, like, I'm low-key sleepy. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure I'm just hitting the burn burnout part of the night. Um, but yeah, I think Diona actually turned out really cute. I absolutely adore how her like upper portion looks. I think it's because of how pastel everything is. I definitely want to look into other sets to get like pastel colors. I did do two other illustrations, I think, with marker in here. I think one's like, I did a Ming Hao, which looks really cute. And then the other one I did on a piece of cardstock and I just stuck it into my sketchbook. Um, but a little update, I guess, since it's been like a week. I already broke my sketchbook habit. I haven't been sketching every day, but I, for the most part, if I've missed one day, I haven't missed like two days in a row or three days in a row or anything. So it's like I missed one day out of like a full streak of something. So it's not too bad. Um, 
But yeah, I hopefully I can get back on track. I definitely do want to sketch every day in my sketchbook if I can. It's just... I don't know if it's because of how many pages this sketchbook has or notebook has. I want to be able to work, um, work in it at like a decent pace, but also not drawing too much repetitive stuff, if that makes sense. I feel like I always gravitate towards headshots. So I'm trying my best to put in a little bit more full bodies, kind of waist ups, um, action poses and stuff, which is great because I figured out that using graphite, using mechanical pencils, like stuff like that, like pencil basically is my favorite way to work in the sketchbook, but it is the longest way for me to doodle because I really take my time when I sketch with pencil. I love like figuring stuff out really lightly and then slowly going in, darkening up lines, then darkening up the values, and then trying to push things so they read a little bit more three-dimensional. And I don't know, I just really love working with graphite. So expect a little bit more graphite videos probably for the sketchbook doodles. Um, but if you guys enjoy the marker videos, do let me know. I'll try to squeeze in a few more if I can, and I'll definitely look into getting maybe a set or two. I think someone said that if you buy the 80 set and the 90 set, then you will have like the complete set, plus if you buy the skin tone set. So maybe I'll look into those a little bit closer to the holidays where I feel like it's okay to spend a little bit more money. Um, but yeah, I do not know what else to talk about. What else has been going on? I'm currently redesigning um, that OC from my previous sketchbook. And I think I'm set with his color scheme for the most part. I just need to find consistency in terms of drawing his face. I'm torn between drawing him with like super kind, kind of more like droopy, sleepy eyes. Or do I want to draw him with more sharper, almost deadpan eyes? So we'll see. I think his outfit's kind of cute. I, he is in a turtleneck once again. I know like fashion wise, it might overlap with Masaki, but I feel like Masaki has like a thicker, bulkier collar and it's like a chunkier sweater. Well, this guy, which I do not have a name for him yet, but he kind of has like more of a skin tight, not skin tight, but it's like a thinner material that doesn't like really bunch up or anything kind of turtleneck thing going on. It's like a lot of the turtlenecks I think I own. It's like thinner material. Granted, I only have two turtlenecks, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I would like to get more. Um, but yeah, I wanna see if I can do a little bit more like washes and watercolor in the sketchbook. It's just, for me, I think it's fun to add color that way. And it's kind of more accurate. And the way that the edges for watercolor sits in this notebook, I think looks really pretty. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, so as you can see, I am now kind of darkening up some of the lines. We're actually nearing the end of the, the video and I noticed that some of the lines were getting lost. Um, so I'm trying to darken it up with this dark red for her hair and then any kind of like little corners. I try my best to use the ultramarine color that I have or like the navy color that I have to darken it up so it kind of reads a little bit more easily. Uh, but I think she looks really cute so far. I'm just adding a little bit of like little hearts around her because I'm not giving her a background, I don't think. Um, but yeah, sorry for like my scattered brain today. I think I should stop just doing these voiceovers at 1 a.m. with three hours of sleep. It's not, it's not good for me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably like, what the heck is she talking about? Like she's probably sounds like crazy off her rocker. Um, but yeah, if you watched the 17 concert, hopefully you enjoyed it because my brain's like still pumping from the adrenaline from that. There's so many things I want to draw. Mingyu, Dino, and Wanu. There's another cute moment and I want to draw it. I want to draw it so bad. So uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. I need to also record videos. I don't know. I'm super scatterbrained right now and I probably should just end the voiceover, render this, and sleep. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time and thank you very much for watching. Um, but yeah, um, talk to you guys next time. Bye!